Hey everybody, welcome back. We are getting ready to do some more acrylic pouring and as you can see, we've got some magnets ready. We've got some new shapes. Some of them are ones I've had for a while but we're just now getting to, like the baseball men or women. Um, they're kind of built like men. <laughs> and the owls I've had for a while, but everything else is new. We've got a crab, a bunny, sunflower, owl, bear, squirrel, rhinoceros, 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 we'll get it out, uh, a squid, then we have a fox and a horse. So we're going to get these painted. Um, they've all been taped off. I specifically went with these designs, well, except for the owl, although the owl wasn't too bad. But I specifically went with these designs because they were easier for me to be able to cut um, around the masking tape uh, versus some of the shapes that I've had, uh, at least with the snowflakes, uh, were just impossible. This one, which I'm going to dip instead, there was no way I was taping that off. So we're going to dip both sides of it and see how that works out. And if it works really well, then I'll order more. But otherwise, we're avoiding shapes like this. <laughs> Another one that I said there's just no way was this love. And again, I just uh, coated both sides with the primer. And we're going to dip them instead. I don't even know if I can get a magnet onto these. They might be too small for that even, but we'll see. Now, some other ones that I need to go ahead and get done soon are Halloween themed. So we've got Boo, which that's going to be a little difficult to cut out, but we'll see. Happy Halloween. That's going to be difficult also. But then I've got shapes like that, which aren't as bad. Trick or treat. So we'll see how those go. First these, and what we're going to do, they're too close together for me to do a hair, hair dryer or anything like that. So I'm just going to, uh, for the ones that we're going to blow, um, I'm going to actually blow on them. I may try to swipe the octopus, and I can do a, a palette knife for that. Everything else... We'll have to see. I can probably do like ring pours and stuff like that or a flip cup. We'll see as I get to them. All right, let's start with these right here and then we'll flip it around and kind of rotate it as we work on them. So let's start with the sunflower. So I'm working on getting the paints prepped mixed up and um, making sure I've got the colors I want and all that and my hand is killing me trying to get these mixed up and these are just little cups I'm working on trying to stir and I think it's because I overworked it today trying to figure out if I could set up the new canopy I have it's a new used <laughs> but um, if I could set it up by myself because it's heavier and taller than my old camping canopy that I've been using. My hand is just killing me, the knuckles. Okay, I think I'm ready to do the sunflower now. Now that I'm dying. I am hoping that the brilliant yellow is actually azo yellow light. <laughs> so we'll find out if it eats the paint or not and go from there, making sure we're still recording. That took forever for me. Since it's thin, I think it might be the old. We shall see. That is Azo Yellow Deep. Hmm. 
That is um, Amsterdam Naples Naples yellow red. I think that's the old yellow. Okay, let me wipe that off. All right, now we have Azo Yellow Light. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put that down. Now some Azo Yellow Deep. Both of these are Amsterdam. And then the Naples Yellow Red, which is also Amsterdam, and looks really pink compared to the yellow. All right, now for the middle part, the brown, let's see if I can do this. I just want to do one dollop. And these are both Artist Loft Bronze and Copper. I realized my head was in the way for most of that. So I apologize. All right, we're gonna let that one dry. What I might do is go ahead and move it over Here. Well, let me bring that up for you guys to see a little bit closer. I think that'll be interesting. All right, now we don't have to worry about ruining that one. <laughs> Let's get some other colors in here. I want to do a flip cup on these, so 
Let's see. For the owl, let's do white as the base. So it's Amsterdam Titanium White. Let's do Artist Loft Burnt Umber, which uh, the Titanium White is an opaque. The Burnt Umber is an opaque. Also Artist Loft Gray. And I'm not sure if it's an opaque or not. I would venture to say it is. The bottle didn't have it marked. Let's do some black. I haven't used it in forever. I, this is Mars Black from Artist Loft. The reason why I haven't used it in forever is because it tends to eat colors, but with a flip cup, I don't think that will be a problem. And I didn't put a lot in it, and I think that's good. Let me put a little bit more Artist Loft in there because we've got some, I mean, some titanium white. We've got some dark colors. And actually, I'm going to throw a little um, Artist Loft bronze in just so we have a metallic. I think that will be enough. Oh, my owl doesn't quite cover the cup. As you can see, I forgot to lock the focus so sorry if you guys are going in and out I've already got some interesting effects going on I rather like that. All right, I think most of that is covered. Let me bring it up closer to y'all. We'll use this, this hand. We got some cool effects in there, didn't we? We'll have to see how it dries, how much of the metallic comes out. All right, I'm going to put them to the side to dry. Sorry, we're bouncing y'all around. All right, let's do the bunny rabbit. Again, I want my base to be white. So I'm using Amsterdam titanium white. Let's do burnt umber. Let's do gray. And let's do Amsterdam Metallic Silver. Might have to keep an eye out for a chunk. Oh, if it weren't for the little spot where his foot is, we'd just make it.
All right. Let's move this sucker around. Okay, I think I got all the edges. I think I see the chunk. Yep, that's why it pays to play with your paints. <laughs> you might catch something you didn't before. Let me bring this guy closer to you. idea of some of the cells that popped up. Let's see how he dries. All right, who's next? Mr. Crab? Flip cup again. This time we're going to do Amsterdam Titanium White. Surely you guys aren't surprised by that. Let's do Artist Loft Brilliant Red. And then Carmine, Amsterdam Carmine. I think we'll leave it at that. No metallics in this one. Eh, we'll do a little copper. So two brands, Amsterdam and Artist Loft. The only Artist Loft is the copper. Again, can't quite cover my cup. Tilt this little guy around. Got some hair.
That's why I didn't want to move anywhere. It was all that copper. I'm not liking it though. We're going to redo it. Use the same cup, just no copper this time. And I think we'll do it as a dirty pour rather than a flip cup. Carmine's sinking. Okay, I think that's as good as we're going to get. I like it better than the first attempt. Wood is hot. Hope you guys can see some of those interesting cells that started to form. Some of the copper still popped through, which is fine. I just didn't like that big blob we had, and the color was a little too blotchy. Okay, let's do Mr. Squirrel. I think we will do him as a traveling ring pour. I'm going to do him in layers. So, Artist Loft Copper. Let's do some Titanium White. I'm going to try to do two layers. Let's do some Artist Loft Bronze, Titanium. Now we've got a lot of Titanium White around it. Let's do some Burnt Umber from Artist Loft. And now some Amsterdam Titanium White, some Artist Loft Copper. I'm putting too much color in. Some Burnt Umber, some Amsterdam Titanium White, and some Bronze. All right, Mr. Squirrel, you're up. I'm going to put him over here. I'm going to move it around and then pop bubbles.
not sure where those bubbles are coming from. Let me show him to you all. I think that will dry pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna put him to the side to dry after I work those rings back out. Buddy's trying to sniff my gloved hand. All right, Mr. Bear. I think we'll do a flip cup with him. I'm going to do Artist Loft Burnt Umber as the base. I'm going to throw some titanium white in there, Amsterdam titanium white. I don't want it to be too strong, so I kind of mixed it in. And then let's do Artist Loft Bronze, and let's do Artist Loft Gray. Hopefully I have enough. My neck keeps popping, doing those deep pops that make you start to panic because you're like, oh no, I'm breaking my neck. Okay, let's move it around just a little bit. I'm doing a lot of them in the same color scheme, aren't I? I was waiting to see if any more colors were coming back in those two spots. All right, let's bring them up to show y'all. So there's our bear. Let's see. My squid will do a blow pour, and let's do some unconventional colors. Let's do Amsterdam Azo Yellow Deep. Try to get a good base. Azo Yellow Deep, let's do some Amsterdam Naples Yellow Red. Let's do Artist Loft Copper. Let's do, I want to do, is this uh, Amsterdam Prussian Blue, I believe. Uh, 
That blue is still super thick. All right, I think that's enough colors. We'll go ahead and do the hair dryer. Sorry, I had to move y'all. You were you were on my cord. We're going to have to do this again, but i got to get some paint out of the way. I might have done better just to tip the tray. The one disadvantage to not just doing it right on the wire rack. All right, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Buddy's playing with her skunk. I can hear her getting all excited. I'm going to thin my blue a little bit more. The Prussian blue dries really dark. It'll look almost black. It should look like it's, it's ink. Squid ink. All right, here we go. All right, trying again. Can't get it to move the way I want it to. All right, I'm going to blow everything towards the top. I dipped right into 
paint on the table. I just sprayed that all over me. I should have known better. Okay, <laughs> so you can see my Mr. Squid. We're going to see how he dries, because that blue is going to dry darker. Whoops. So we'll see how he dries. We'll see if we redo him or not. Okay, this end is obviously way too much paint so we're going to flip it around let's do some owls <laughs> we're going to do the owls in different colors okay let's do amsterdam prussian blue let's do some artist loft copper actually i want to thin that a little bit more before i want to do some amsterdam titanium white and top it off with a little bit more Prussian blue. Actually, I'll um, throw some Amsterdam grayish blue in there as well. I need to thin it down some first, though. All right. I do this bird here.
Just spreading those colors out a little bit. Just trying to push those colors through so that there's less chance of a film being when it dries. I can still pop the film part, but. So there's Mr. Owl. Bring him a little closer. We got some neat cells going on in there. Some tiny cells, but cells. All right, I'm going to set them to the side to dry. And that blue is going to dry dark. So we'll see how it ends up. Let's do a traveling ring core on this one. Let's do some Artisoft Brilliant Red. Some Amsterdam, Naples, yellow, red. Let's do some carmine. Let's do some bronze. The bronze said, hello, here I am. Let's do a little bit of Amsterdam sky blue light. And I think that's going to be enough color. I don't like how the colors come out. <laughs> we'll uh, do the same colors, just a different uh, amount. Okay.
So there's that guy. Now for this one, we're going to do a, a blow pour, but we're going to do a couple of spots. I'm going to throw some carmine in there. Now that looks too much like ketchup and mustard. So let's throw uh, some titanium white. Let's throw some permanent red violet light and let's do some aqua green might leave him like that. I kind of like to have, I kind of like having a lot of color up here and on the side and just a little bit through there. Okay. There's that fella. <laughs> okay. The baseball dudes, I'm going to do, trying to think of what, what would be best. Let's try, I'm going to do them all the same color. Uh, which is the Allegheny Trojans, which is green and yellow. I think the best color combo was the base being green. Oops. We'll do two of them that way, and then one of them with the base being yellow.
I'm going to use the hair dryer again. Watch me splash everywhere. Much better than my attempt to do the horseshoes green and yellow. Let me show you each one. So there's that fella. This one. And that one. All right, the splotch is dried in that short amount of time. It wasn't short, it's been here forever. I have another tray I was gonna do after this, but we'll wait until tomorrow for that one. All right. Let's do the horse, and for the horse, I've always thought that dapple gray would look best. It's a weird tail on the horse, but otherwise. And where's my gray? Putting a little bit more than usual because I have a feeling that white will be all that's left otherwise. I'll still blew most of the gray off. Let's dapple gray it a little bit more. That's going to work real good as soon as I can pick them up. So there's the horse. All right, my fox. We're going to do copper. Actually, let me do a brilliant red base. Let me get those bubbles out of there. 
gonna put co copper down. And let's do white, white, white. I think they actually have black socks around here, but we'll do, we'll do white. I'm going to torch it after I lay it down, but since I was already holding him, just to show you. Fixed his tail. <laughs> and last but not least, Mr. Rhino. Let's do a gray base. My gray is really thin. And let's throw titanium white. Eh, let's leave it at that. So kind of the reverse of the horse. There's the rhinoceros. All right. Thank you all for joining me on this one. I'll see you on the next one. I'm so tired I forgot my phone.